Hello, Jason with Gameplay XP. We are going to be talking about Hero Development Day. Thursday is the best day for Hero Development. And uh, let me get into it and show you why. So basically, when, when you're looking at hourly chess and event chess, such as COP, every day has a theme. Today is Hero Development. These are the activities or tasks that you have that will get you chess. So you line them up with your hourly challenge, which these are the tasks for the hour, hourly challenge. So Thursday, being Hero Development Day, knowing that your tasks are aligned, you're able to double up on your chess rewards by single actions. So let's start here in the Hero options and when you have your hero development day this is when you want to have collected throughout the week all of your tickets so instead of using tickets every single day that you receive you collect them up and then on hero development day is when you use them all the trick is that you want to use them with this 10 times factor using 10 at a time gives you the highest ability to get the better recruits. Um, <clears throat> so let me just show you. When you log in first time for the day or whenever you normally log in and you're going to start this process, you get free ones. So every day use your free ones. They will not roll over, but come the day of collecting your tickets, you want to use those and then jump right into your 10 times. When you hit your 10 times, you can see how it jumps up in your chest really quick. Gives you all these in one shot. I have 17 more tickets, so I'm going to hit it again. These jump up even more. I have these that have just been received. Now I don't have 10 anymore, so I can use the single click to go through each of the ticket. Now I am using just the normal recruit ticket and in the normal recruit ticket, you don't get as many points. So right here where it says use the normal recruit ticket, you get 10,000 points for each ticket used. As you can see, I've done 300,000 points in just using the tickets that I had. So I have this chest that I've received this is what's inside that chest, and that was the hourly. Now, if you go over to the COP and check it, I've done 391K so far, but I haven't hit my 600K in my chest. So <clears throat> the normal recruit ticket is still 10K on this side. Let's go ahead and, and go into the hero again, back into the recruits. Let's move from the normal recruit now to the advanced recruit. I have 34 tickets there plus a free one. So I'm gonna take my free one. As you can see, the hourly jumped and the COP jumped. Now I have 34, so I'm just gonna go one, two, three, and four. Those four individual tickets have got me up into where I received another hourly chest. So at 550K, I'm now at this hourly chest. And I've got these rewards. And it also bumped me up in my COP chest to receive my first award here. All right. So now I'm going to go and look at how to get to the next level of chess. I know my hourly, I have two. My COP, I have three. The thing about the hourly is that I am limited to three chess per hour. COP is through a 24 hour period. So I don't wanna use more tickets than I need to. So I'm gonna look at my legendary tickets. I only have four of them there plus a free one. So I'm gonna take a free one, which pushes me up. I'm gonna take another one, pushes me up. Another one, and another one. So basically using all five of my tickets, I did not get up to the level of the hourly chest that I needed to. So basically I'm at 1.5 million. I need to be at 2.48 million. 
and I used all of my legendary tickets and I've used all of my normal recruit tickets. The only ones left are my advanced recruit tickets. So I'm going to do 10 more of those. As you can see, I jumped up quite a bit. I'm almost to hit the second COP chest and I'm almost to hit the third. Now, if I also look, these are all the, the rewards that I received from doing that. I'm going to do 10 more. 10 more, I hit that chest and I hit that chest. Okay. I also received all of these. I have not received any orange heroes today. It's a bummer, but I'm focused on getting chests. So I've been able to now accomplish getting my chests at, I passed the third chest in my hourly. And I've received my second chest in my COP. Okay. Now the thing about these hourly, lining up your hourly and your COP, now that my hourly is done, I got to sit around and wait for it to roll over. Once it rolls over from this current period that we're in right here, it will go into this period. I can then continue to use what hero tickets that I have and what other activities it requires to continue to progress my COP chests without losing anything by wasting them on an hourly that I've already collected. So basically I have to wait 15, just under 15 more minutes for me to be able to collect those new hourly rewards. Now, as I showed you, this is the section in which you recruit your um, heroes. Now, once you recruit your heroes, you have to skill them up. So you can basically skill them up through using your XP to increase that, that hero's experience and you also have skills these skills allow you to increase different features of the hero um you know skill one obviously is basically how many people can fit into their squad skill two is how much damage they're capable of doing it's a combat skill skill three is a leadership skill or or basically resistance the more you increase it the more your troops can resist damage. Um, offensively speaking, you can create might in the fourth skill. The more you unlock it, the more might you have, and that's the more damage you can in inflict on the enemy. Um, another combat skill is for damage. Skill six is probably the most important skill outside of skill one, which is in it increases both the amount of damage, the amount of resistance. Uh, it has hero specific um, features, but it also creates the ability to, to increase how many troops you have in that legion. It does require a duplicate. So basically I have to have a duplicate of Hurricane to unlock skill six. It also has to be at level 35 for me to unlock this skill. So those two mean I have to create a lot of XP for this hero and I have to be lucky in my recruit tickets to get a duplicate of Hurricane. And skills basically four through eight require duplicates of some sort, whether it's just an orange general legendary duplicate, <coughs> sorry, uh, metal, or unlocking the higher requires two generic legendary hero medals and then three the final one requires three medals so as you can see skill six requires a legendary specific but the others require generic so you want to be you want to be on the lookout of how to get your legendary t recruit tickets and how to get your generic legendary medal um, those will help you open up your heroes all the way but in addition to that, you also have the arena. The arena allows you to exchange. When you've got all these different heroes and you have duplicates of these heroes and you don't need them, you're not going to use them at all, you can use the arena to exchange them. So it does cost money. It costs gold to exchange them. But basically when I 
take this, all these normal recruit tickets that I've received, I've got these heroes, I don't need them, I exchange them. And I exchange them for wisdom medals. So as you can see, I just exchanged six hero tickets or, or hero badges and got wisdom medals for them. Now I did that during my hourly. So basically it increased my hourly, but I didn't get anything from it, all right? I'm sorry, <clears throat> it did not have the activity available to me in my hourly, so I did not get anything in my hourly. But because it was in my COP, it did increase my COP, but that's me doing something without doubling up the one activity for multiple rewards. I went ahead and I just did it for the six. I, I basically obtained new medals. So by doing that, I got my points through COP, but I didn't double up my points because that action wasn't available here. That's why I'm waiting here for this. So that's a quick run through of basically hero day development, how to line up your chests for your hourly with your COP chests to maximize your rewards for the minimal efforts you can. And, you know, a quick run through of hero XP and hero skills. That is what Thursdays are for. Boost up your, your heroes, boost up your skills, boost up the number of tickets throughout the week so you can collect them all on Thursday and you get your chest rewards. Hopefully that wasn't too, too I'm sorry. Hopefully that was not too confusing and thanks. I appreciate it.